Hi everyone, welcome back to Candle Crazed. Today for you, I have my January candle and wax empties. I finished quite a lot of candles. Every empties video, I talk about the strength and throw from each candle from one to 10. I talk about if there was soot, how it burned, um, what the scent was like, and then also if I would repurchase or not. So let's just get started. The first one that I have is Alpine Martini in a large pillar from the Yank. Um, when I first smelled this scent in stores, I was like, ew, that is so disgusting. I will never burn that. But I think it ended up being one of my favorite ones out of the Christmas collection. It's just a very tart cranberry, and there's supposed to be pine in it, but I didn't get that at all, which is completely fine with me. I really, really enjoyed just the tart, fruity aspect of this candle. Um, as for sh throw, strength and throw, I'd give it like a six, mm, maybe like a five. <laughs> I'd give it like a five, just because pillars don't have the widest opening, so they're not really supposed to be like crazy strong. But I could definitely smell it in my room. I had this and then a medium as well burning in it. So I could definitely smell it. Um, I would repurchase this again just because I really like the scent. But I'd probably get it in like a two wick or some other form, not a pillar. Um, and clearly you can see that it did soot like crazy. No matter how many times I trimmed the wick on these, they sooted so bad. So that was that. And then I do have a bunch of wax left because when it got to this point, I just threw it in the warmer. So definitely recommend if you like like a tart cranberry scent, and I would buy it again. Empty number two. I have a medium village candle in warm buttered bread. Oh my gosh, this scent is amazing. Warm buttered bread is definitely an authentic scent. So the scent is like 100%, 10 out of 10, You that's what you smell is warm buttered bread. It's so good. As for the throw, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 because it wasn't always super, super strong, but most of the time it was. Um, it didn't have any soot, but as you can see, there is a little bit of wax residue because I did put this in the warmer towards the end um, just to get all the oils out, and then it kind of spilled over. But as for would I purchase it in the future, absolutely, and I cannot wait to get another one. Okay, empties number three. I have a small tumbler in snowflake cookies. Um, well, now it just smells like smoke, but this scent is freaking amazing. It's the best cookie scent in the whole world. It's so, so, so strong, um, and it has pink wax, so, like, you really can't beat it at all. For the strength and throw in this little guy, I'd honestly give it, like, a 7 or 8. Even though it's a small tumbler and it has, like, a smaller opening, it was very, very strong, and it filled up my entire bedroom and even into the hallway. It was delicious. This one... So there's a little bit of soot, but it's really not bad at all. Obviously, the burn quality is pretty horrible. There's wax residue the whole way up. But I would definitely repurchase this because the scent is just amazing. Next, I finished a... I forget what these are called. Oh, a footed tumbler in In a Winter Wonderland. Mmm, the scent is so good. This candle did not soot too badly. Um, there is a lot of wax residue along the sides, but honestly, I just think that's how it is for, like, the tumblers and the smooth wax, because it just collects along the sides. As for scent, it's a wonderful scent. It's more of, like, a vanilla pine, so if you're not really too into, like, balsam and cedar, you might like this one. And also, for the strength and throw in this little guy, I'd give it maybe a five or a six. I'm probably being generous, but... I put it in my bathroom, and I can only smell it sometimes, not constantly, in a very tiny bathroom. So, a little disappointed in that. Maybe the large jar is a lot stronger, but I don't know. I would repurchase this scent again. I actually have another one of these in my hutch, so I'll just burn that next year. But after that, if I don't get it again, oh well. But if I see it in, like, a large jar, maybe I'll grab it. Next, we have a large jar in Angel's Wings from the Yank. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. This is just like a sugar cane and vanilla. It's not like a French vanilla. It's not like a vanilla cupcake. It's just a sugar cane vanilla. It's very sugary sweet. I love it. Um, this was not strong whatsoever. I can tell you there was 100% like no scent. I had this in my bathroom and I got nothing out of it, which is very upsetting because it's an amazing scent. Um, I only burned it up to here, and then I threw it in the warmer, and I still couldn't smell it. So, 
I don't think I would repurchase it just because of that, but the scent itself is amazing. And I really like it. So if they could somehow just make this one a little bit stronger, I might buy it. Um, when it was burning, the burn quality was really good. It pulled out quickly. And as for soot, there really is none. So the only problem with this scent is the strength. It's not strong and has no scent. Um, and I probably won't get it again in the future. It was a good one to try, but I don't know. Just not that great. Oh my gosh, like if I could just hold on to it to smell on cold, it's amazing. But burning, you literally get no scent. Next, I have a large Pure Radiance in the Scent Cafe, which is an old retired one. Oh, this scent is beautiful. It's a really creamy coffee. Um, it's not super, super sweet, but it's not bitter either. Kind of like it better than Cafe Alfresco. The only problem is it's not very strong. I would say the throw on this was like a four or five. Um, there's a lot of wax residue on the side, which you might not be able to see, but I can having it right in front of me. There's no soot though, which is very nice. Honestly, I don't think I would repurchase this just because like if I want a strong coffee scent, there's other ones out there. To go along with my large pillar in Alpine Martini, I finished a medium pillar. And this one I finished all the way to the bottom and you can see it soot like crazy. The last big candle that I finished is Cider Lane from Bath & Body Works. I was burning this one on and off with Alpine Martini, which might seem weird, um, but a lot of people call Alpine Martini apple martini and they're like I don't smell any apple and I'm like I wonder why but I just got after I was like thinking about that I got in the mood to smell apples so I burned cider lane I only had about half of a jar left so I just wanted to finish it when I what didn't have time to burn the pillars I lit this one so this scent is amazing it's a delicious caramel apple scent it's very very strong this one had such puny wick syndrome that I literally just blew it out because I was sick of it um, I had to cotton ball this so many times. The scent was definitely good, but if I have to cotton ball it that many times, like, it's really not worth it. Would I repurchase? I don't know. A lot of people are, like, obsessed with this scent, and I understand having it for the fall every year, but I don't want to have to cotton ball it every single time I want to smell it. So, I don't know if I'll get it. Maybe in, like, the mason jar style or something, but I don't know about a three wick. But it is a delicious scent, so very good. I finished two little baby jars of Christmas cookies. Now I just kind of smell smoke. But like I know what Christmas cookie smells like. Um, this, if you know Christmas cookie, you know that maybe it used to be strong, but it literally has no scent. I don't know why I bought baby jars in it. I thought that maybe some miracle would happen and they would smell, but that didn't happen. Um, they smelled amazing on cold. Christmas cookie is like one of the most delicious, delicious, delicious scents on cold. But when burning, there's like nothing to it, which is really upsetting. So I finished two of these. I paired them with a melt cup that I'll show you in a little bit, which that was really strong. These did not soot at all. Didn't really leave too much wax residue, but the strength was literally one because I could smell it when I stood over it, but that was it. Um, and I don't think I would ever repurchase Christmas cookie in a jar, even though it's amazing. I'd probably just stick with, like, milk cups. Then I finished a small jar in sugared apple. Oh my gosh, I love sugared apple. Like, this is such a good scent. And it's becoming really popular with a lot of people. Strength and throw on this little guy. Maybe, like, a four. I don't know. I feel like I'm being really generous this this video, but obviously the baby jars don't give off much scent, but they definitely add something to the air. So I think this definitely added a little bit of something. It's a beautiful apple scent for the winter. I would definitely repurchase this in a larger size, maybe in like a two wick, but not the small jar. I almost forgot my last candle. I finished a small of winter in the Pure Radiance. I absolutely adore this scent. I think it is so refreshing and cool for winter. It's, I mean, that's what it's called, so that's what it should smell like, but it's amazing. This small jar overpowered my large jar of angel's wings, which is crazy to think about, but this filled up my bathroom a lot. I definitely think a larger size would give you a really, really good throw, but if the small did, I can't even imagine the large. Um... There is a little bit of wax residue around the side, and I believe a little bit of soot, but honestly, the scent was so worth it. It's such a nice scent. It, like I said, it was probably 
like a seven or eight for this little thing, which is good. Um, and I would definitely repurchase it just in a larger size. Now we're going to move into the milk cups. So the first one that I actually finished pretty recently is Cafe Al Fresco. Oh, this is so good. Now that I'm smelling it without the milk cup in, I definitely get a lot more like caramel and cinnamon than I did when it was burning. When I had this in the warmer, I got a lot of creamer, like really sweet creamer. And I don't know why, but that's what I got. I don't think it's as amazing as like I expected it to be. And I think Cassidy feels the same way. Maybe I'm wrong. I could totally be lying. I don't know. But like it's it's a good coffee scent. It's just not woo like amazing. I don't know. I think sweet Irish coffee is a lot better. And if that came in a milk cup, I'd be stocking up. But it doesn't. Thank you so much, Yankee. Um, would I repurchase this probably if I wanted a coffee milk cup? Because boom, there you go. Um, otherwise, it was whatever. Next, I have sugared apple, and I have to say, this gave me the weirdest scent in the milk cup. Like, I don't know what it was, but it was very, I don't know, it just smells so weird in the milk cup. I think there's there's something in sugared apple that, like, sticks out that a lot of people are like, ugh. Um, I don't know. The milk cup just smelled really weird to me, and maybe I'll try, I'll probably try it again next year because I love this scent so much, but this year it was just very, very weird. All right, then I finished a milk cup in Sprinkled Sugar Cookie from the Cookie Swap Collection. This scent smells like Play-Doh. Like, it smells really good in the candle and on cold, but when it was burning, or melting, whatever you want to call it, it smelled like a weird cookie scented flavored Play-Doh. It was, ugh. it smelled so waxy and I didn't really like it at all. I'm sorry to like fans of Sprinkled Sugar Cookie. I know Cassidy likes this one, but I just was not feeling it. Finished a milk cup of Christmas cookie and there's still some wax on the lid. Oh my gosh, this scent is freaking amazing. I just want to like eat it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's the perfect Christmas cookie scent. Unfortunately, it's not strong in the candle, but this throws pretty well. So if you like Christmas cookie, I definitely recommend getting the tarts or the milk cup because they throw really nicely and it's just delicious. Moving on to tea lights, I finished two boxes this time. I usually finish more, but whatever. The first one I finished is sugared apple, which I paired with my milk cup and small jar. Um, these gave off a really nice scent. They were I don't know if the milk cups maybe just too much wax at once and gave me a weird scent, but the tea lights were really nice and really pretty and they just added a nice sugared apple to the air. It was good. Then I finished a box of Alpine Martini, which were surprisingly really strong in the tea light. Um, paired with the pillar, it was definitely enough to fill my room, so enjoyed these. As for wax melts, I finished Cashmere Cream by Sensationals. I burned this with Angel's Wings and Winter. And this is just kind of like, I don't know how to describe this. It's, it doesn't smell like cashmere. It's just like a creamy vanilla, kind of like Angel's Wings. I think it's more of like a sugary vanilla. But it's really pretty and it does, I guess you do get kind of an aspect of perfume. This was very, very strong. I always find these to be really strong. Um, like. <laughs> probably repurchase this again just because it was a really pretty scent and I think this would also be really nice to pair with like lavender or like a soft blanket yum and I finished espresso crema from Kringle this scent was really really good um this was super strong it definitely overpowered cafe but maybe it just mixed perfectly with cafe al fresco and I had like a coffee vibe going it was delicious so this scent's really good. If I ever get the chance to go up to Kringle or if I just give in and order online, I would definitely get this again. Then I finished a tart in pomegranate cider, a really old one that's like super oily. Um, this I burned with Alpine Martini just to bring out a little bit more of a tartness and it mixed deliciously. This one was so strong. I have about 15 more tarts in this, so I can't wait to burn them because it's such a good scent. Delicious. Then I finished a votive of Christmas cookie. 
and just like every other form of this, it was not strong. Actually, I finished two of those. Um, then I just threw in this room spray that I finished. I always have a room spray in my bathroom, and I just happened to finish this one in January. All is bright. Oh. Mm, I love all is bright. It's such a good scent. And just because, why not? I threw in a soap that I finished in the month of January. Nasty ass winter candy apple. Oh. Ew. Like, I will never buy this scent again. It's so disgusting. Sean cracked me up when he talked about this, saying that the baby would run out of the main, the baby. Baby Jesus would run out of the manger, I think he said, if he ever smelled this. And that is so true. It smells okay, but after using it for like days and weeks on end, it's disgusting. And I would never buy this in a candle. I don't know how people do that. I would never buy in anything ever again. So goodbye, Winter Candy Apple. You are officially out of my life. Um, anyways, that is it. That's all my empties. I guess I thought I finished more, but maybe that's enough. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. And I plan on doing a Bath and Body Works perfume and lotion collection. I don't know if that would be something anyone's interested in, but let me know below if that'd be something that you'd be interested in, and I will film it ASAP. Otherwise, I really want to do my updated Yankee Candle collection because there's so many that are gone from last time and so many new ones. And I will see you next time. Bye! I can't open this. Oh, there we go. This one burning. And when I first... I cannot speak. Okay. This is a two wick. Um, the wicks aren't, whoa, out of 10. Um, it wasn't always strong though, so that's why it didn't make it to that 10 meter point, but that didn't make any sense. Wax, or the wax, the burn quality. I need chapstick. <sighs> I have the medium pillar in I forgot what it was called. <laughs> a little bit of wax residue on the sides, but like, whatever. It's a good scent. I don't think it's as a... Let me pull up the scent. No. I have wax on my mouth. Ew. Now I just smell... smell blah, 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 blah. Ooh, 70% off pure... What? What? 70% off pure radiance mediums? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where that's from. Okay.